Jonathan Wilson here for JM Sports 100, the JM Sports Show. How is it going? Hopefully we have a better week doing this video thing this week than what we did last week. I do apologize for that. I am here to take a look at the matchup between the New York Jets and the Cleveland Browns, the Thursday night football matchup for week three in the 2018 NFL season. But first, I will tell you that we continued to, we continued to struggle just a bit uh, last week. Did not have a fantastic week by any stretch of the imagination. We went 7-8-1 and one on the week last week, so ties in the first two weeks of the season. How about that? Uh, with that, our record is just 16 wins, 14 losses, and two ties on the year. 1,072 wins, uh, 658 losses, and seven ties is our lifetime record. Seems like that tie thing has been pretty, uh, pretty prevalent the last several seasons. So here we go. Let's talk about this game now. The Jets and the Browns, and a game that I'm actually somewhat interested in. Here, uh, you think about this Browns team, and this Browns team, if it wasn't for Zane Gonzalez, honestly could be 2-0 and coming into this game. How about that? I mean, they tied with Pittsburgh in a game that they should have won. They should have beaten New Orleans last week, but Zane Gonzalez missed two field goals, two extra points. He did lose his uh, job because of that. And so they will have another rookie kicker out of Florida, A&M, whose name honestly escapes me at the moment, uh, will be their new kicker in Cleveland. So they did make the change there, but... This Browns team is playing really well. Tyrod Taylor is playing well enough to get this team by. The Cleveland defense is very good. And they're playing a Jets team who come in with a record of 1-1. One one. Of course, they had that big uh, showing on Monday Night Football where the defense had five turnovers. Sam Darnold didn't play terribly, and they got the win over the Lions. And then they didn't play as well in Miami last, or not in Miami, actually, it was their home opener last week, but against Miami last week. And in this game here, I can't believe I'm going to say this, and normally a lot of times I'll wait until the end to make my pick, but I'm going to say it now. Of course, the big thing with Cleveland is they have a 19-game winless streak. Can't call it a losing streak, because with the tie, that means the loss technically went away, the losing streak technically went away, but it is still a winless streak, 19-game winless streak. I'm saying this right now. I think the Browns end their losing streak tonight on Thursday Night Football, and I will tell you why. You, Cleveland is a very good team, defensively especially. They're a really good team. They are going against a Jets team that does not have a great offensive line, and a quarterback in Sam Darnold, who I do like, and I do think he is good. And I said it uh, after his showing in week one. I still feel like he's good. I'm not incredible. You know, I'm not, I didn't give up on him after one game. But here's the thing about Sam Darnold, and I said it in the first video I made this year against the Lions. And the, the Lion game was he throws a lot of picks. And he can be erratic, and he can be wild. And him having a, a shaky offensive line, I think it's only going to make him more wild. He's going to be more antsy. He's going to be moving around more. He's going to probably uh, sling it a little bit more and try to make plays just to get rid of the ball quickly. Not to mention that, he is on yet another short week. The Jets have really technically been on short weeks, except for the first game of the season. Well, really... Except for going into week one, they've been on short weeks the whole time. They played Monday night in week one. And then they turn around and played Sunday, week two, so that's a short week. And then you turn around and play Thursday this week, that's a short week too. That's a lot for a rookie quarterback to take in, especially against this Cleveland defense, who I really, really like. I do think this game is a close game. I do think it's actually a, a little bit more fun to watch than people probably think it's going to be. I don't know that it's necessarily going to get a great rating. Uh, I think the ratings games, the Thursday games, will pick up starting on Thursday this uh, this next week in Week 4 when Fox takes it over. Uh, they have some Strickland Fox takes it over. They have some pretty good games on their slate. But I still think that this game is going to be competitive. But I do think that Cleveland is going to, at home, end their losing streak. I think the Browns will finally 
for the first time in a long time. I don't have the exact number of days in front of me, but for the first time in a long time, the Cleveland Browns will win a football game. Also, um, that's that. As far as the college football picks go, I did post them on the JM Sports Show Facebook page. There is one. I'll even mention it here. Why not? It's only one game. Uh, tonight we have Temple getting a win over Tulsa tonight. But if you want to go check that out, that is in a post. It'll be the post that's below this one after I post this on the page. So check that out if you want. And hopefully we have a little bit better luck as far as doing the bigger NFL videos next uh, this week. And hopefully I've figured out a way to make it a little shorter even hopefully i guess we'll find out so uh there you go that's gonna do it for me guys uh don't forget to like the james virtual page on facebook and follow us on twitter link as always are down in the description i am jonathan Bozette for james Post 100 and the jm sports show and i will see you guys later <laughs>